searching for the good in our neighborhoods and each other. Not just finding what's wrong, but what's right. A true reflection of Cincinnati. Find the good in your mornings. Good morning, Tri-State. This is WCPO 9 News. Thanks for joining us for WCPO 9 News. I'm Cena Gebra Ab. Here's a look at some of today's top stories. The UC Bearcats will kick off against Georgia in the Peach Bowl this afternoon at the Mercedes Benz Stadium in Atlanta. UC undefeated this season and won the AAC conference title. But if they win the Peach Bowl, it'll be the biggest win in the program's history. Our WCPO 9 sports team is in Atlanta for the game. Be sure to tune in for full coverage starting on WCPO. CPO 9 news at 6 tonight and the Bengals going for their third win in a row during the team's last game against the Baltimore Ravens on Sunday. About 10,000 fans will be allowed at Paul Brown Stadium for the game. Tickets are still available on the Bengals website. All tickets will be mobile only and you must sit in your socially distanced seat and wear a mask if you attend. Kickoff is at 1 p.m. Local distilleries that switched to making hand sanitizer in 2020 got some good news. The government rescinded a $14,000 fee it charged them earlier this week. The Department of Health and Human Services says it charged the fee by mistake. HHS says those distilleries should be applauded for their actions, not taxed. And something to look forward to this year, riding a nationally acclaimed roller coaster at Kings Island. The park's new Giga Coaster Orion came out on top in a USA Today poll for best amusement park attraction. It's the tallest, fastest and longest ride at Kings Island. The park wants to thank those of you who voted in that poll. Austin. Well, it looks like uh, definitely some big impacts weather-wise for today. You're looking at uh, really some rain showers in the forecast, and the temperatures, at least they're going to be soaring. We're looking at uh, some 30s, 40s, eventually uh, some 50s later on. So uh, some 30s for the morning hours, 40s for the early afternoon, and then topping out around 54 degrees or so, and the temperatures a little delayed. We'll see the high for today closer to uh, dinner time than the middle of the afternoon. But notice the weather icons, a chance for some showers for the entire day. Scattered showers expected. It's not going to rain the entire time, but we will have some rain chances. Here's your nine day forecast showing temperatures in the 50s today, some 40s over the weekend and some 40s next week.